Alright guys, so we're going to be playing some Brute Bonnet live today as we get into the swing of things. Um, yeah, this should be our last, like, on Psychic Partner, just casual live. If you notice, I've just been doing lives. No team builders, no nothing like that. No purposeful um, video. Never need to rush up on the rust. Yeah, we're winning the game, but I can tell when I'm, like, rusty. Uh, I've mentioned before looking at the team preview. whenever I can always tell when I'm rusty when I look at the team preview and the answers don't just come to me immediately like when I look at this you know I have a vague idea of just from <clears throat> you know from like residual skill but it's not sharp which isn't good like I'm not all the problems and potential things the opponent could do to me that was, doesn't come up immediately and so I definitely need to sit down and get like a thorough week of practice back in. Um, but until that gets done, we, we're just going to have to make do. Um, can't guard against walking awake. What's Torkoal's purpose here? Can take potentially one hit from Moth. Great Tusk is good. Great Tusk is good. Um, very weak to bolt. Mirror Scrata is a tricky thing to, to face off turn one. Uh, people typically just mindlessly meow. Um, what do I win with here? could really body more roaring but we're fine if I'm crunch EQ which me Asperata stops. Mm. The biggest offensive threat to me I suppose is what like a DD Pult. But I have solutions to you in that. So I don't think he has anything that unless I'm I'm tripping, a new Pult would come in. But unless I'm tripping, there should be nothing he can do that I can't guard against. Unfortunately, I'll have to take a Draco slash Shadow Ball here. Um, most likely, right? Uh, unless the opponent goes hard hattery. If he goes hard hattery and, and then goes back to pull time in trouble. Because then he gets to get the attack off and he gets the hazards up. Um, I don't think he goes hard hattery, but if I go for Yawn. And he attacks me, so this is, a, is an awful position for me. Um, do I need any damage on this Dragon Ball? I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. Say darts, he's bad at darts. It's not ideal, but I took it. I'll lose my balloon, but for the greater good. So he goes for Tusk and his defensive. This is phenomenal, because I get to draw. Um, make it rain straight up. I don't know why Corviknight would be the solution. I'm really glad the Corviknight is getting chipped here. Mm. This is a 1700 player. He's not roosting. Uh, nasty, uh, I know he's gonna turn there. But, um, if I was higher up, I would have nasty plotted there because he would roost first. Because he knew I'd nasty plot. I mean, he knew that he needed me to be at a certain amount of health. Uh, so the moth comes in as likely choice specs or something of that nature. Um, I'm a minus one gold angle. Like right, good positioning means walking away gets a kill. I can't risk him going for anything that can one shot my walking wake. Let's say a dazzling gleam, perhaps, which is very probable, or a sludge wave. And I'm very tempted um, to just leave this in. But let's think this through. If I go to Walking Wake, it's a kill. I don't even necessarily need the sun, but because you can never let Walking Wake just come in here for free. Like, that's an awful decision. And I'm assuming he specs, like, he doesn't have to be specs.
because my secondary concern, if he kills my Roaring Moon, so be it. I'm, this is the thing I'm most willing to lose. So he Sludge Waves. Okay. Alright, then I'll deal with that. His Specs for sure, but obviously he's going to be scared out. Even if he's not walking away, he doesn't die to wave. Um, the positioning is what I wanted. So I just see me as a kill now. Because I'm plus special attack Specs. So it gives, he, gives Corviknight up, which means no ground immunity. Um... He's forced to go to Dragapult here, but I now know he's banded. I could Terra and kill his Bolt. Uh, would I Terra anything else? Because if Bolt dies, now nah, that would mean that um, there's no way walking away dies. Uh, Bolt dies. That would mean what for me? What would that mean? Is this worse though? Is this a worthy trade? Terra Flying Goldie is actually lethal as fuck. Let's take another kill. I figured he might U turn. Which means Walking Wake. Because Walking Wake's still alive. He has to give me a mon here. He's probably going to be. Um, yeah, he gives Hatterene. Okay, I'll take Hatterene. I'll take Hattie. The issue with Walking Wake is that nothing else. Um, does not speed much else. It has to come in on Tusk. Now if it does come in on Tusk, I just Dragon Pulse and get a kill. Uh, I'm glad that um, the, the this came in. Because Walking Wake... I mean... I mean um, mm. Root Bonnet is good. Very good. Struggles with me out though. So if I were to... I'll give up, I'll give up Roaring Moon. Um, I have Sucker Punch and a Soul Vesse Overheats, which is a misplay. I don't know why he did that. Because now I just deep pulse one shot something. I don't know why he overheated there. You know, I screw out of no matter what the set is. Especially if he took damage. Yeah, he just died. Remember, he has secondary moves. It doesn't only have water moves. So overheat there was the worst possible play. I don't even agree with Iron Moth, period. So now, Brute Bonnet, depending on what his Great Tusk set, is, set tusk, tusk, tusk set is just eats him up by itself All right um, do I want Sun let's say he darts if he dart locks then he loses a mod to Goldie Terra Ghost which is excellent for us this allows for us to bond it and spore Yeah, I want a spore instead. Uh, I figured Tusk would hard switch. Uh, I don't want. I did not want to crunch into Tusk, and I didn't want to bullet. I could have bullet seeded into Moth. I could have bullet seeded into Moth. Um, truth be told, like even here, I shouldn't even be risking him having something like Body Press, because uh, because Brute Bonnet guaranteed wins me the game. So I'm always gonna I'm always gonna just go to uh, wake here, regardless of whether he woke up or not. The game was gonna be a wrap. So Bonnet Bonnet was gonna win. So this does not speed anything else. Obviously, U turns. You have to bank on me choking there. So you know, on, in some way, I know he's banded. So Brute Bonnet always knocks him out. But I'm not even gonna show him that I have Sucker Punch just on the off chance we play in a future game or something. I'm just gonna shadow ball there. Um, interesting first game. Uh, I'm proud of myself in the sense that I didn't give the opponent unnecessary openings. Right, that's, that's what I'm real proud of. Um, okay. Mm. So, sorry, I'm just reading a text. Uh, is this stall? I guess it kind of is. Well, I guess this is all right. I saw the Volk and I was like questioning my existence. Is this stall? Brubon is very good. Here. I really like Brubon versus these style of teams. Um, obviously, the Volcarona is going to be the big um, wild card. But he also does not want that sport. 
but Sun plus Volk is handsome as hell. Uh, walking Wake. I think they use Blissey for Walking Wake. It's going to be a very difficult game. In fact, I'm not even sure how I'm going to win it. I think if that Claw Zire is unaware, I mean Water Absorb, then I'm not sure I'm going to win this. If it's not, and I force, what would I, if that's the case, what would I need to do to, what would I, what Terra would I need to force? Can I even force a Terra? Um, I suppose if I Terra, because what I don't want to do is Terra water my walking wake um, and blow the Blissey away. But if I Terra water, I can't Terra flying my Goldengo and why that matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it still would matter. Because Terra flying um, opens up Goldengo versus the Volcarona. So if Sun turn one. If I'm staring down Volk, that's fine. Let's see. So they actually pexes. Hmm. I don't know what their initial switch to spores on teams like these are. Let's find out. I'm willing to learn. I've I don't think I've ever faced a version like this before. I don't think I've ever faced a version like this. I'm taking it as I go. Like, okay, what's the solution in a case like this? He's burnt one sweet turn, so every turn from here on out is a risk. The question is, is it worth the risk yet? Right? Because if I go hard tusk, like the game is pretty much over. If I bullet seed, I probably two a KO. If I go Dengo and he has T spy, if he well Dengo and he wakes up in Toxics. It's not a horrible spot, but it's not phenomenal. But compared to how good my Bronnet is, is it worth it? It is. So here comes the folk. So that is his initial. Okay, that's good to know. What do these things do? The Pex has burned a sleep turn. Hmm, I need to scout to see what these are supposed to do. Flamethrowers crits me. Phenomenal, 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 phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Great, 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 great. Blessed, blessed, blessed. So, even if he were to go for the whirlpool here to trap me as I yawn. I just, I'm just really concerned about the fucking burn. So yeah, let's, let's find out what the fuck his counterplay to this is. I don't know. He was whirlpool. But I don't see that. The actual whirlpool damage does more. So let's see. Hydro Steam here. It should do like 80 to the actual. So the Blissey comes in 31%. Okay. So I guess the Terra's here or rocks. Me being plus attack is really good. Like this is a big issue, which means he has to Dozo. And Dozo has to take rocks. Oh, he goes Mola. I actually thought he would Dozo for sure. Actually, that's good. That's good. Okay. Um, he whirlpools again. I need to be careful about this. I didn't expect him to whirlpool that turn. Though I don't have any whirlpool switching. Um, so I actually gotta gotta keep my sun up because it's it's the one thing. I kind of wish I had headlong rush. Now I see why CTC might have had headlong rush. Um, so Terra Water would do nearly half. I need to force him to Terra. So I'll sun up first because I doubt he'd uh, go for anything other than um, a shadow ball. It's not blessed. That's not a blessed play. So if he took 31, yeah, I don't think Terra Water is 2k on this. Even from 14, ah, Terra Water with 2k. 
Excellent. Excellent positioning for your boy. But EQ is never enough. 36%. Jeez, that did fucking nothing. He has to wish. Yeah. That did Jack Diddley do. Oh, my. Uh, Hydro Steam Terra. What's my t terrifying? As I said, terrifying helps with the Volcarona. Because my Goldie would want 1v1 Volk. Unless I have the Terra. Unless I don't have the Terra. Let me count this. The problem is if he Terra's the Blissey after that, then I don't even. Because I think those do run Terra Water. Uh. If he's at 63 for that, he's gonna be back at fucking full. Jeez. How am I going to defeat him? I have to not get burned. Uh, or PP stall this entire game to death. So Blissey comes in here. Well, softball has limited amount of PP. Yeah, Hydro Steam, he can protect, but Hydro Steam, softball has a limited amount of PP. I can have that going for me. All right, softball only has seven. So every every Hydro Steam, he has to softball. Um, I get to Roaring Moon, which Torque holds me back. I'm very tempted to go Tusk on his Dozo because that'll bait him to knock it off. But I don't know if he's any like if he's at least half decent, he won't he won't just leave it in. So uh, I keep thinking my brute bonnet has fucking recovery. Doesn't jam. Doesn't have recovery. Uh, he has 13 protects. What an annoying fucking situation I'm in right now. Brute Bonnet, Crunch, probably two at KO's Volk. Well, I do not want to play with that burn this early. Whirlpool PP is 20. That's a lot of fucking PP. Hey, damn. Uh, uh, I'm Fort. I'll have to start risking a bit because I can't keep going walking wake on the Whirlpool. So let's see how much this crunch does. This is gonna be a clutch situation for Terrifier. Him protect using up the protects are actually gonna play a role later on. So I'm gonna have to play the long game. Because um, obviously the Volcarona comes in here. He has to go Volk. Five bullet CDs, donezo. He can't deal with this. It's done in this town. But the Volk is super low. It's at 87. If I get a defense drop and he doesn't hex, he's in deep doo doo. I'm not even gonna skip turn, 60%. 60% is good damage. But obviously, he has the morning sun here. Because the sun is up, so it actually helps him here. It's just funny, this is the one, of the, one of the few cases where this matters. Um, So here comes Blissey as I depulse. Um, but as I said, we have to stall out his his um that's the one more the last a lot sad a lot. Shadow balls. I was gonna go bond it there, but not so waste. So I have to, okay, I'm, I'm starting to, now that I've seen it, the Volk takes 60. So he's max defense. And now he's gonna um, flame body fish. So obviously Mola continually coming in is an issue. But what I'll end up doing is conditioning him into, condition him into um, using up his protects. He has to protect here. I'll go for Torkoal on the sun. It goes Blissey. Hard. Didn't expect Blissey hard. Um, 
Mola. Again, we're gonna condition on the protect. Ah, it's fucking Vogue, okay. So he's used 11 protects, that's a lot of protects. Nah, Walking Wink. He's not in a position where he can risk trying to predict me, but even if he does, uh, Walking Wink's too big of an issue. So he has to go Volcarona. Yup. And now the Blissey. So if I Hydro Steam here, Terra Water, it'll kill him. It'll 2 KO him and then it'll force him to Terra Water his Blissey. If he Terra Waters his Blissey, what does that do for me? Not a damn thing. I, that's assuming this is Terra Water, right? Like, I think that's what they run. I'm not a thousand on it. Not a thousand on it. But as I said, I'll play the patient game. He's using up a lot of his soft boils right now. So, 35%. Yeah, I would have took care of him there. Um, and we'll do this shit again. I'm going to have you soft boiling all day, boy. All motherfucking day, you're going to be soft boiling. We're hydro steaming all motherfucking day. I'm going to have you soft boiling. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to need you to soft boil, buddy. So if you, he's used half of his soft boils and gotten damn near no mileage. He might go to vote, but if he does, I have my, my, um, my very bad set, <laughs> which is mine. Uh, so he goes Don Dozo, the Don Diesel, the Don Dizzle. He goes to the Don Dizzle. Now, if this is body press and he uses it as I bullet seed, I think my Roaring Moon would sweep him. Fucking this jerk off this fucking jerk off. That's actually not that bad though. That's not that bad because now yes, it's gone But now what's the blissey at? It's at a hundred That's fine. The blissey can't tear anymore, which is big. So walking wake finna show why it's really that nigga Walking wake should show why it's really that guy. Why I'm really that guy now Let me see double back to Mola terrifying so we did force him to terror something other than the the um, no I gotta really watch my son turn see all the terror fight on those and God, Pex being asleep is huge And I think Goldengo is faster than his Volk. Based on how much the Crunch is doing, I think Goldengo is faster than his Volk. Which is going to be a big deal um, at some point. So we're going to um, Walking Wake here. I need to stall a bit longer. I'm going to Dragon Pulse. One, he's going to protect. But I want to Dragon Pulse so that... Because um, this is spec special attack boosted. Uh, even if he just randomly tries to whirlwind for some dumb reason. Uh, but it's very unlikely he's going to want to use up his soft boils. And so now he's going to go for something that he thinks can take on my, my Torkoal. Because I've been Torkoaling every time. So I'm a Tusk Pivot Shadow Boss. He wants to do damage to the Colster. So this is great because I get to Colster here. Obviously Aloma Mola is coming in. I know that. Um, but that's fine as long as miss the fucking whirlpool for once you piece of shit Does not miss the whirlpool. What a scumbag um, So it's gonna protect the first turn Yeah, and now I tear water hydro steam He did 30 there's no way he's not to get into a kid by this And I have a lot of sun turns. Yeah, so that's the positioning I wanted Yup Give me your points. Give me them points right the fuck now, boy. And now Dragon Pulse and Draco Media are real problems under the sun. Under the sun! Now, it's far from over. But nobody wants to smoke. Look at the special attack on this shit. 679. I did 50% to a Blissey. So that should put things in perspective. That should put things into perspective. Now, this Blissey... I took a lot of damage. I'm not pleased about that, but every time I Draco Media, I'll get a kill. I just gotta be careful about his Volk, but I'm Lum. Um, I'm Lum. 
uh, walking roaring I always call it roaring wake the walking roar <laughs> it's crazy so this is the position we wanted right we wanted to force something else to Terra that's why the turn with the, the brute bonded I was like you know if he Terra's here one or two things are gonna happen he's not gonna Terra and okay so he goes Pex which is great which means he can never switch to Pex in again so he loses two for Mon two Mons here I mean he could just give the Pex up the problem is that what are you gonna switch into after that all right, you're gonna go with Mola. I have too many sun turns. So Mola is gonna probably drop. So he gives Pex up. Sure, I don't have any sleep fodder. So he might go Mola. Uh, the problem is Mola gets to a KO. Whoa! You thought you were safe? Yo, everybody. You saw that shit in Vampire? <laughs> <laughs> fried fish anybody fried fish anyone fried fish anyone oh my i didn't think you'd get one shot molo has a dumb hp stat i didn't think it would do 88 but they do run max defense and molo's hp is really what carries it doesn't have the best but wow i mean i know walking away is that guy Let's think about the stacking on that. Base 120. Choice specs. And uh, Protosynthesis boost. Mm. The only thing that would be stronger than that would be if, if, if it was just base 120 from jump. Meaning like a rain equivalent. So if I had Hydro in the rain. But obviously I wouldn't get the Protosynthesis boost. So the only thing it can do that's stronger than what I just did is, I think is, well, you can't have choice specs and a Protosynthesis Boost. So yeah, this is the only way you can have Protosynthesis Boost in. That might have been the strongest possible attack I could go for. No, Draco is still stronger. Terra Dragon Draco, the strongest thing it could do. But yeah, that was fucking powerful, man. GG. Wow. Um, 27 minutes. I want to risk another long. We're going to end it there. We're going to end it there. I do not want to risk another stall game and have it be way over 27. I'm already kind of cutting into my day. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I know y'all love them stall games. That's going to be a fun one to watch. But, yeah. Hit the like button for that stall win there for Walking Wake, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.